This is a circuit diagram or design of my idea. There are four generators connected in a series configuration. There, each generator has a positive and negative side. In a series connection, the opposite sides are connected to each other, as you can see in this diagram. A series connection will... Um, so the voltages in a series connection will add up. The voltage one generator can produce ra ranges from about 0.5 to 1 volt. This is in a range because of the of the wind that is hitting the propellers. It depends on the direction of the wind and the force of the wind uh, to turn the propellers. So the higher the RPM of the propellers, the higher the voltage that the generator will produce. You, so you make sure to, con to bring the leads from the outermost edges and make sure it's a positive and a negative edge. So you bring it down and connect it to a DC to DC booster circuit. The job of this circuit is to convert the voltage provided by these motors and provide a constant uh, voltage of five, uh, of 5 and a constant current of 600 milliamps. This can convert it to this if you give it a range of 0.9 volts to 5 volts. After the booster, um, the most essential part in this uh, circuit is the charging circuit. This regulates the amount of voltage that goes to the battery. Since this is a lithium ion battery, that is where all the current ends up, it is prone to explosions, so the charging circuit is essential. So, from, according to the circuit diagram, from the boost converter, it goes to the charging circuit. And the charging circuit is in this RC car. As you can see, there's a USB um, wire here. There's a USB port on this. So you can easily connect it into it. The, ch the charge now that we have our prototype set up, we have to test it. So according to the circuit diagram, uh, the LED light should be glowing on the boost converter when um, the right amount of voltage is generated. So for that, we have to disconnect the USB from the car. So now that our prototype is complete and set up, we need to test it. So according to the circuit diagram, um, when this amount of voltage gets through, the LED light on the boost converter will light up. So let's see if that happens. But first we need to disconnect the car USB from this. So we're using a hair dryer as shown before to simulate the wind speed. And you put it on the blades. So as you could see, the light was the the, the LED light was glowing was glowing in around this area. As you can see in the circuit diagram, from the boost converter, the current goes to the charging circuit. The charging circuit is in this RC car. Right now, it's protected under this plastic lid. Um, and this plastic lid protects the charging circuit and the lithium ion battery. This car has a USB that um, is where you charge the car from. And so do, and this boost converter has a USB um, port too. So 
you plug it in and you rotate the blades and it will charge the car.